it's really tragic, you know, when anyone loses a family member, when something as simple as having a defibrillator um, could potentially save people's lives. I mean, the modern technology now also means that, you know, it, it kind of automatically does it. You don't have to know how to use one because the machines kind of take the readings that are important. Um, what, what's a really big concern to me is actually how few people know um, enough about you know cardiac arrest how to treat it whether there's defib there or not as i understand it only about 10 percent of people understand or know how to do uh, the right resuscitation technique and that's something that could be fixed really easily with just a little bit of education having it through schools there's been suggestion of having it as part of primary school training you know lots of organizations like brownies and scouts do it but but it's not reaching enough people so we just need to be much more aware of it but I think there needs to be wider education than that. I'd like to see, um, actually, you know, every young person who goes through a talent pathway, who goes through a football or rugby academy, learn about heart attacks and, and learn what action to take. And to know, so if they see somebody on the floor, they know either actually how to do sort of traditional resuscitation or they know to, to go and get, get a defib. But a lot of that comes back to education and that, if we could get that as well as defibs, that, that would be, for me, really positive.